Hello. We're now at part 7. Shading Boost. Just so you know, it helps speed things up at certain parts of the workflow. I've already drawn this character using vector lines. The hair color is pixel based, and the rest is all vector shapes. First step, adding shadows. To add shadows, select the object shape, click insert inside the selection icon above or shift plus I. I say this a lot. And draw the shadow. Change the blend mode to multiply. Add Gaussian blur in quick FX to soften the shadow. Using Gaussian blur is like spraying with an airbrush. Using the multiply blend mode means that when you change the character's color, you don't have to redo all the shadows piece by piece. I like changing colors often, so I use the multiply method. Once you've drawn a shadow on a head, and then select a new shape like shirt to add another shadow. When you go back to the head to add shadow, you don't need to click insert inside again. Just hold control, select the shadow inside one of the heads, and draw the new shading into it. Doing it this way, new shadow will go into the shadow group. It helps you work faster. Remember, if you apply effects like Gaussian blur or other raster-based effects, you need to be careful about this point when creating vector work for sale. Hair is a pixel layer, but you can still draw vector shapes on it for shading. This is the advantage of combining vector and raster. Click Shift I, insert inside the selection just like before. Doing the shadow one by one like this is slow. There are also other helpers like styles. A style is basically a saved combination of your settings, things like fill, stroke, gradients, and effects. To do it, go to the styles panel, add new styles category. We can save the styles we've created here. Select the shadow where you've applied the Gaussian blur effect. Click add style from selection. Right click and rename it to shadow. Arranging the order of styles isn't very smooth yet. Plan it carefully. Now we can apply the style we created to any new shapes we make. Save it, like shading, highlights, or other effects, for use next time. Okay. Another easy way is to copy and paste the style. For example, copy the shading you made, go to the edit menu, paste, style, or press ctrl shift v. It applies the copied style, colors, strokes, and effects, to another object all at once. Or use the style picker tool to click and select the shading you want directly. Those are the three little rituals that help us shade way faster. Styles let you save your favorite looks in the style panel so you can reuse them anytime, shadows, highlights, any effects, without rebuilding them from scratch. Copying and pasting styles is super convenient. The style picker tool helps a lot too. If you've been following every video, you'll see that even though the concepts are similar, but each video highlights practical points differently. Hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.